Hi, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel where I give you quick tips and tricks on how to navigate Excel. Today we're going to talk about how to truncate some data, how to trim it up so that you may get rid of some extra characters that you don't want to see in your final report. So here I have some data that is internal. We keep track of our market numbers. Hill Valley is 01, Toontown is 03, Mos Eisley is 02. But if I want to send this out in some sort of report, I don't want it to show the 01, 02, 03. I just want to see the market name. So how can we do that? We do that with a trim function. You can trim from the right, trim from the left, trim from the middle. We're going to, in this case, we only want to return the values that are starting from the right. So our formula is, is equals right, open parenthesis, and choose the subject that we're looking at, comma, and then it wants to know how many characters from the right do you want to see? So looking at this, I'm gonna guess 10. And you can see we needed one more character, so let me change this to 11, and that looks good. However, when I copy it down, it's not gonna work for these other ones because uh, they all, the 11th position is going to vary depending on the size of the market name. So how can I make this formula variable so it always knows to just pick up the right number of characters? Well, in this particular data set, when it begins with 01-03-02- those are all consistent. They're unique. They are all five characters. 01 space dash space. It's five characters. So let's change this formula. Instead of 11, I want it to look at the length of the cell, the text in the cell, which is len b2, close bracket, and then I'm going to subtract five characters because I want it to stop before it gets to those last five characters and press enter. And now when I pull this down, now it works beautifully. So there's your formula right there. Now there are more complicated ways and I will cover that in another video where you can actually search out in the text string where the dash is, where the comma is, where there's some sort of delimiter that you only want it to go to that area. And I will put a link to that video down below once it's posted. But thanks for joining me. If you found this helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, ask me any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.